Hey, welcome back, everybody. You may have noticed on YouTube that I really uh, I eliminated a lot of older videos that kind of were not really pertaining to what I'm doing these days. So a lot of the older alignment videos and stuff like that uh, for other models and stuff like that, they've been removed. Um, it just doesn't really translate to what I'm doing these days so a lot of the old information I may have said and stuff like that it's it's gone now so I kept some of the more popular videos that have a lot of views and stuff like that so going forward with the channel this year we're gonna try to keep things on topic and the videos for customers are gonna be a lot shorter because I'm trying to use my time wisely again I'm not a full-time place here um, so when I, every time I record and make videos, that's just time that's taken away from getting another customer order, which I have a couple more of these, uh, right after this. So please understand it's not that I'm trying to discredit anyone and try to not give them like a overall experience of what I, what I show here. But, you know, in the grand scheme, um, everything is always the same kind of a creature or habit here so what I do is always what I do and if you've watched one you've probably watched them all so that's what I'm trying to say is the videos are going to be a lot shorter and to the point so we'll get right down to this one this is the NM532 this is the P6 that will plug right into this jack and you don't need the electret setting because the mic is powered by its own battery so we'll switch the mic type to dynamic and what that does is shut the voltage that comes out of the plug that energizes the cartridge, the electric condenser, electret condenser in the mic and also um, I believe the voltage is required for the up and down. So in dynamic if you were to plug this mic into the radio and try to use it you'd get no modulation basically. So this is a powered mic with a 9 volt battery so you don't need to worry about that it will work perfectly with this radio it will sound outstanding and uh, this is for Kevin I don't know if I said that already Kevin in Iowa so I'm gonna get started and here it is right there so I don't have any more of these right now the ones that I have are already sold and I'm waiting to get some more so if you want to get one from me I just ask for a little patience. As soon as I get some more, they'll be available. One thing I haven't shown before, I think this is outstanding for this radio, how they pack it with this thicker cardboard. I mean, it is just like cardboard, but it is quite thick. You find this on like the QT60. They also, but they, yeah, they also have something similar to this. So that gives you an idea, you know, the factory that's packaging this and everything, you know, it's the same. One more thing to comment about before I start the radio here. Um, there's been a lot of controversy online and everything about people saying, yeah, it looks like a Bearcat 980. Yes, it does. And I did touch on that a little bit, I think, in the thoughts video about this radio. But I'm just going to touch on that again. So it's my understanding that President owns the tooling for this whole front design. It, it's their design. They own it. And this radio has been completely designed by President. And what I mean by that is they designed the whole front. They designed how they want this to work. They designed every feature of this radio. The casting, the casing, everything is designed by them. And then what they do, and this is just my understanding, is they contact the factory and tell them, okay, we have a radio designed. Now we want you to integrate your circuit board to make this radio work. So basically... We want the circuit board to be a certain way and we want it to work a certain way and make this radio work the way we want it to work. So this is not an ODM radio. This is a president designed radio that they work with a partnership with the factory that designs the boards and then they have them assemble and ship or package and everything like that. So president did design this radio and i believe that's why some of you guys will say well the president radios always cost more money and there's a reason for that because they are spending a lot of money they have their own employees they have their own facilities where they're completely engineering and designing these radios to look a certain way to work a certain way and then at the very end they're using the factory to essentially make a circuit board to work how they want this radio to work so it is a little bit different you know you're not talking about 
like something like this. This is an original design manufacturer radio. Any tone has the original design. Uh, this company says we want to sell a radio, but we want it to say our name and we want all the specifications, everything to be the same as what you would design. And that's essentially what we have here is original design manufactured radio for a different company. And a lot of the CRTs and stuff like that, that's the same way where president designs their own stuff. And then they, at the end, they use the factory to make the board work ideally with the radio. And that's why the radios cost more because there's more investment involved and there's more time and there's just everything is in, in there's there's way less of that with like the CRTs of the world and stuff like that and like the radio audio. They just have them make it for them, put their name, switch the box type, everything. So that costs less. This when you have your own business that you're running, everything's gonna cost more. So that's why you see a cost difference. And that's my understanding. Now you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I probably am and I don't have my facts right but that's my complete understanding and that's that's what I'm just gonna throw out there that's why president radios usually cost more because they design them for themselves and then at the end the factory is told we want a certain circuit board to work with this radio and ideally that's what you end up with here and that's what we have we have a George here and it's an awesome radio and to not take away anything from President, but you could say the same thing with Stryker. Everything I said about President, you can say the same thing about Stryker. I'm believing and understanding that they do exactly the same thing with their radios. They're designed fully by them. The look, the cosmetic, well, how they want it to work, everything is unique to them. Same thing with President. So that's why the radios cost more, because there's a lot more that goes into it than just an original design manufacturer that says, okay, we have this radio. And we're willing to sell it to you with our design and our cosmetic look. Nothing's changed except you can put your name on it. So essentially, you know, if I wanted to make my own like uh, Quad 5N2 and call it Scott's Radios, I could. I could order that. It could say Scott's Radios or something. And I could have a box made. And, and they would do that. I mean, that's what they're there for. But uh, these guys and like Stryker, they do their own tooling and everything. Everything is done for how they want it and then at the end the factory works with them to design a board that will work and make their radio work how they want it to work so same same situation there so sorry to waste everybody's time with all that but I just feel like it needs to be kind of put out there because a lot of you guys are really invested in the hobby and there's so many crazy rumors that go around and stuff like that so hopefully this makes sense to everybody okay Kevin we got you all set here so I'm just gonna give you just a quick overview this is on sideband with the RF power all the way up at level 10. So it's going to come up here to the power meter. Take a look here. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are roughly, I don't know, anywhere from, I like to say from 20 to 30. This one is actually do just a tad bit more. So 31. Um, then we'll come down here to level 5. You don't have to press anything. You just press it change it unkey and it's set so you don't have to save it or do anything like that it just stores it automatically here's at about half power right here one two three one two three check check still pretty good you know you obviously can run this lower if you need to um i wouldn't run it i wouldn't necessarily recommend running it all the way up unless you really need it uh, you can still get by quite well with less one two three this is all the way down one two three one two three so about four or five watts there okay um am this is going to be all the way down i think is it is it independent for the mode nope so whatever mode you're in whatever you set the rf power to that's what it's going to be at unless you change it back so that's another good thing you don't have to worry about every mode has a different setting or anything so um let's see what we're at here about one watt so about one watt all the way down one two three one two three four five six check check one two one two hello so it's about that four times peak ratio which is about what you should see anyways from the carrier um, maybe just a touch less at times but anyways it's between three and four somewhere in there so if you turn it up let's see it's about level five where that puts us about two and a half 
so at two and a half it's going to give you just a little bit more output you know somewhere eight to ten usually somewhere in that range which is pretty good one two three one two three hello it's about eleven right there um, and then all the way up at level ten um, it's going to be about a four watt carrier yeah, 3.99 and when I speak into the microphone, it's usually up in the 20s, somewhere in there. So, you know, it's not going to do as much as it does on single sideband. These really shine on single sideband, but they do okay on AM too. They sound really good. They have that really nice, uh, clean modulation. Sound a lot like the, a lot of the 10 meter radios that a lot of guys have come to love how those sound. So these have a very similar sound to those, I would say identical really and uh, very smooth audio on the airwaves and stuff so you'll get a lot of nice reports with this they sound excellent so all that old muddy bassy nasty audio that probably a lot of the older uh, other brand radios produce these don't have that so you have really good fidelity and very good voice quality with these radios so that's what you want you want to be understood and you want to be heard and not sound like oh, oh, you don't like that so <laughs> that's definitely not what you want okay kevin well it's all set for you i'm gonna put this back in the package it's got the mic with it or i'm sorry the the batteries in the mic that's what i meant to say so i'll put that in the that'll be in the box next to the box of the radio um the radio's all set did the little basic change to it that I can do that's complimentary right now going forward unless something changes so anyone that orders one will get that aside from me going on about the um, why these might cost more and everything that's put into this by president and everything and I touched on striker a little bit kind of some comparisons there it would have been a pretty short video so hope you enjoy it uh, 73 and uh, take care out there hopefully we'll catch you out there on the band uh we'll catch you guys on the next one